So I'm starting the southern portion of my Great One Fallow grind for Great One number two. I'm at a point now on my map where I need to do something drastic to open up more shootable animals. And I've had a lot of people ask me questions about when it's appropriate to take level twos and when it's not. So I want to kind of show you what I'm talking about when I have to do something drastic and that is indeed harvesting some level twos because this is the first level five i've seen in many many runs and i've noticed that i'm just getting less and less harvestable animals shootable animals because there are just so many level twos on my map i'm gonna go ahead and take this guy but this is where if you're facing this situation where you have so many low levels and you need to start opening up more spawn space this is where you can get pick and choosy. This is where you can actually start making decisions about who and when you're harvesting animals in what zones you want them in. So I just took that level five. He's likely a fairly decent diamond. I had uh, this herd standing up here. This is the herd that usually meets back there by the bridge on this side of the water. And there was nothing to shoot. They're all level twos now. And so because I don't like where they generally populate, I'm probably not gonna harvest level twos from there. I'm probably gonna do it on Sand Lake when I get there in my next rotation. So stand by and I'll kind of show you and walk you through how that's done. All right, so I was running over here and I was kind of looking at those ducks when this level four came out of nowhere. Hello, ducks. Makes such weird sounds. Oh my gosh, no. But he just kind of came out of nowhere. But here's our level level five that we had shot just a second ago. So we'll take a look at him. That's a diamond wreck. I mean, he may not be sizable. I'm saying 250s. Oh, 265. So <laughs> I'm a really poor judge on the fallow racks for some reason. But yeah, just another chocolate diamond. So when we talk about shooting level twos out of need zones, this is a very personal choice. And it really just depends on where you are comfortable hunting and areas that have the best line of sight, a lack of obstacles, that sort of thing. What you wanna look for is space where you can take advantage of all of those things. And so for example, hello, handsome. See, he just kind of dinged in because that need zone was missing for a while. But this lake here, the starting lake on my rotations, has become chock full of level twos. It is one of my favorite hunting places though, because I literally just run down this beach shooting as I go. So I'm gonna choose this as a location in which to start purging some of my level twos out of my zones. But we gotta get him off the map first, so I need to set up my tripod. And I'm one of those rare grinders who don't have preset tripods. That's a personal choice that I made because it's cheaper that way and I don't need to be concerned about placement. I can just drop it where I need it to be when I need it to be there. So with that, we've got him down. Ah, and I used to get some pretty sizable level threes off of this zone where this guy is, but I haven't seen any in a while. And I really think it's because my spawn uh, set is choked up with all these low levels. So I think we'll actually take him down too. And since he's right there, We'll just pop my tripod back up. My Eckers. And boom. And that should open up some new spawn opportunities for bigger animals. So I'll be doing this as I run down the lake, but I'm also going to do this process at Sand Lake, uh, which will hopefully open up a lot more there as well. So stand by one. Okay, so I've gotten set up on Sand Lake, and I just want to point out what I have going on on this particular part of this area. Firstly, we've got this little level two sitting over here there, and I'm likely not going to do anything with him, but I do have this small herd, and it's only got one male in it. Right now, it's sitting at a level four. Oh, there we go. Finally got his attention. But yeah, so he oscillates generally between levels three and four. I've never seen him get too much bigger than that. He's been some sizable level fours, but not anything diamond potential. So like I said, I'm going to leave him there. Sometimes I have a small group on that part of the shore over there that come in with anywhere between level uh, threes and fours. On the rarest occasions, there may be a five over there. And then I should start to see, yes. So here is my population on the opposite side. This is my largest herd. And I think honestly, it's a group of two herds that have kind of smooshed together you'll see this little group standing off and then you'll have this larger group here you'll notice there's like no shootable males in there if i wanted to leave my level twos on the map maybe that guy way back there that chocolate that's not 
dipping his head. He looks like he's a level three rack. So, but that's not enough. That's not enough to sustain a rotation or a grind. So what I'm going to do in order to prevent it from causing the group to disappear, I'm going to take one level two out of each of those herds and then possibly try for that level three back there. I'm pretty sure he's a level three, just given the bulk of his rack there. But we also have that sizable boy um, and that sizable boy over there. So that's pretty standard for that crowd, however. Bye, ducks. Bye, ducks. And a new solo male just popped in. And then we have these ones over here. But this has been like this for several rotations now, and I don't like it. I want to be able to come up here and take out my fallows. I used to get upwards of anywhere between six and ten shootable animals here at Sand Lake, and they've all just disappeared. And I think it's just the amount of level twos I have on my map. So once again, one level two per herd so that you don't accidentally delete them. Um, and I would take no more than two animals from each, even if you're using a tripod, because I've noticed that it can still cause them to move around and shift. So we're going to get started with that process. I'm going to start way down here on this herd. I'm just going to take this level three to start and then leave that level two alone because I'm pretty satisfied with how the respawns are working in that one. And then here I'm going to focus on him and him. And then here, just like I said, pluck one or two of the little level twos out to open up some spawn space. So let's get set up for that. Load. And down he goes. All right. It might have caused them to go alert, but that shouldn't chase them off. Yep. Well, except for that one little herd over there, which honestly, if it's just those four, I might leave them alone. So when they get settled down, I'm going to try for him back there and one of these level twos. And we'll work on over there. So wait for them to get settled, pop, and then pop. And that should be good. That should open up some... Wow, he felt funny. That should open up some spawn space. So they've calmed down. They're facing the wrong direction, so I'm going to start with him. Good. Hopefully that'll trigger them to go attentive again. And mill about. Not quite. So, three, yep. Boom. And then turn around. And, ah, reload. Bane of my existence. Always, always bane of my existence. There you go. Oh, well, he stayed. That should be good. And that was not good because he turned. Well, it'll be a long track, but we definitely have him going down, so. Yeah. And then we'll do a rotation and see how that affected our spawn rates. All right, so we're back at the beginning of my rotation, and I did notice an uptick in the southern part of my rotation along this area. You'll note all of those uh, different places of hunting pressure. I seem to have a lot more threes and fours. Definitely some big fours in there, too, that spawned after the decisions I made. But I'm really curious to see how taking those few level twos from this area has panned out. Now we have a starting feller right there. Looks like a chocolate. Uh, just a little level three. One of these days I'll get a melanistic. Ah, look at that. We have a couple of level fours down there. It's been a while. <gasps> we have three level fours up here. I think... I think it's uh, panning out. Maybe we'll get lucky and maybe my second great one has spawned in. But we'll definitely have to see. So, got some cleaning up to do down there. He seems to be... I don't know why he's... Maybe he was coming to this need zone? They're all attentive. Traveling, why? Shouldn't be traveling. Oh, I forgot to reset the time. That's why I'm going to go back and do it. <laughs> but yeah, it seems to be uh, panning out for having taken just a couple. Like I think I, in grand total, I took either three or four level twos off my map just to open up some, some growing room. So we'll go through this. Let's see how it goes. And there's probably not going to be anybody there now. 
but ah uh, yeah a big level four is nice it's gonna be a little bit tricky to try and take all three at once but we'll get it done i can just be quick about it make sure we're fully loaded in case we have a runaway I fully reloaded. Man, that would have sucked. Go check out how we did. I didn't delete that need zone. Now that I think about it, I may have needed to leave at least one of them intact, but uh, I'm just really excited to see some actual results from my decision. So I'm going to go pick these guys up. Next point we get to, I'll come back and we'll take a look at what else is new. Okay, so we didn't really have anything new spawn in over here, but we did have, where to go, that big boy right down there spawn in on that far crowd. So I think he just jumps back and forth between these two herds. I'm going to see if I can lay a distant shot into him. Yeah, and it looks like it's good, so down he goes. And then I'm very, very curious to see how my work on Sand Lake turned out see if we got anything impressive over there. We seem to be in a spawn peak at the moment, or at least moving toward one where we'll see consistently really big animals. And then after this rotation and maybe one more, if we're lucky, it'll probably drop back down to lower level animals and we'll be in a trough spawn period. So, uh, but I'm going to take advantage of it as much as I can, hopefully by opening up a few more spots for bigger animals to spawn in. We'll get lucky. I'm really, really praying to see my second gray one when we get to Sand Lake. That would be great. Okay, so we're here at Sand Lake finally on our follow-up rotation. And just like I said, this guy has elevated himself to a level four. And then we suddenly have this new need zone over here with these two level threes in it. So that's promising. That tells me that this might be a good run. And now I just got to figure out how I'm going to take those guys down. I'll probably need to move closer. And that will also potentially give us a view of what's across the lake, which I still have that level two there. I'm going to leave him alone. I'm really, really hoping that by taking a few of those level twos that we've created some room for sure. But we'll definitely be able to get these guys. All right, here we go. Ooh, see that guy rise up out of the ground? Okay, not bad. Not too much of a change, but at least there's more shootable animals. I've got that one back there. I've got those two. So yeah, for sure. That definitely helped a little, I think. Then, of course, these guys. So I can get back up to shooting like six to ten animals out of the zone. That will make it a lot more efficient. And yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. That's so much better than it was before. Not a great one. Not even level fives but definitely gives me an opportunity to harvest more and continue a more efficient grind. So we'll check a few more zones after this just to see. And, uh, you know, maybe he spawned in elsewhere on the map. Maybe. Would be nice. Doubt it, though. That's just my luck. But hopefully. But that looks so much better. Ooh, and look over there. Nice. But I didn't do too much with that zone. I just took out the big boys. So that's just normal spawn. But that is so nice to see. I can't tell you how how nice it is to see these guys back again. Because they haven't been here in a while. <laughs> I've been like, what do I shoot? What do I shoot? Well, there's your answer. Pick and choose carefully. Pick your zones based on uh, what you enjoy shooting and what's the easiest for you. And that should help. Ooh, we do have a level five on the lake. Cool. So we'll be taking him too. And lunch is delivered! If you hear the background noise, that's lunch being delivered. All right, 
right, down he goes. Perfect. That should agitate, but not send these guys running. Yeah, that really is nice to see to have more in there. And I think I'm missing one. Honestly. 260. Not bad. Not bad. It's got a nice swole to it. You're fancy. Anyway. We'll go pick up the rest of our nonsense and then go check out and see how taking those level twos out affected other zones. Because as I was saying before, your other zones will be affected by making this decision. If you do take a few level twos out in spaces across your map, it will change some of the dynamics of what spawns into other locations. So take that into account. Could be good, could be bad. You could end up with more level twos. You could end up uh, with your great one. I don't know. Everything in between. The, there's not a lot that's understood about the spawn mechanic other than it is based on a random number generator so by compressing spawn rates you can kind of guide it to one side or the other but overall it's still going to be a fairly random incidence so just keep that in mind and we'll see how that has affected the rest of our stuff okay so this is rotation three i just finished the second one and I did some soft checking about halfway through the rotation last time. Went back to Sand Lake after I had gotten down to the bridge here and had filled all this up with red and had deleted red up here. And I didn't see a great one, um, but there's definitely more harvestable animals up there on Sand Lake. And then here, as a result of our efforts, we have these two wonderful boys. I'm sure we'll have more down there. But um, yes, absolutely. On the occasions that you find that you have just no shootable animals and an abundance, an overabundance of level twos, it is okay to harvest them. My recommendations would be take one per herd, unless you have a herd with like three of them, then you could be a little more lenient and take maybe two. But the more you take, it seems like it throws off the balance of your respawn. So I suggest just do one per herd per rotation, just and then just check everything. Make sure you didn't delete so many that you threw off the balance of the compression in the spawn rates to get these big boys to come in like these fellers here, which I need to distract real quick. Hopefully that worked. It's working. So we'll give him a pop and then give him a pop. And that should be good. But yeah, it's it's definitely helpful. I have seen quite an improvement since making that decision. It can be scary because grooming your zones for proper herd management is a very difficult process. It takes a lot of time and you want to be judicious and careful when you're making changes to that. So again, one per zone, each rotation, Check everything out, make sure it didn't throw off the balance, and then continue your rotations as normal. But um, I'm really hoping that by doing this, I'll get my second Great One Fallow soon, and then I can move on to other projects like, oh, I don't know, Great One Moose would be nice. And then just do some general hunting. I, I have had a really good time on live stream when I went to Park Fernando the other day, so I'm, I'm really keen on getting out and just doing some general hunting. You know, go out and see what we can find. That's going to do it for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to join the Wild Diamond Hunt Club and be a member of our team, please consider dropping into the Discord. There's a link in the description. If you would like to support the channel in other ways, you can do so by hitting like, subscribe, sharing, and watching the video all the way through to the end. That really, really, really actually helps the algorithm. I appreciate your time and what you're able to give me by participating and watching my content. So otherwise, I will catch you on our next adventure. Bye! Oh no, I've been recording this. This is a lot of fun. This is a <laughs> blooper that's going in the blooper reel. You'll bloop yourself. <laughs> Husband's over there. Being sassy. No sassy. <laughs> Ow.